Hey, so you wanted to know about doing your own uh, encryption encryption of data um, stored in your database. So uh, definitely, definitely possible. We have a cryptography library. Um, takes a couple steps to set it up. It's not a nice like one click, just encrypt this, but um, you have full control over what you want to do. So um, this example I'll show you, we'll be using uh, JWE, uh, encode, decode. So um, first thing we want to do is in our function stack, go to cryptography. Um, let's go ahead and create uh, a secret key here. Um, really nothing fancy about this. We can choose our, our bits here, but let's just save this. This is just going to be our key um, for our encryption. Um, I can simply just run this. Now that I have this, I can copy these results. And if we go to settings, we can set environment variables for our workspace. So if we go ahead and manage this, let's delete this and create a new one. Um, let's call this secret key uh, one, we'll say. I'll just paste that in and then I'll hit save. Okay, so now I have my secret key one. Let's jump back to our API. Um, so now that we've generated the secret, first step is to encrypt. So let's just say we're inputting a name of a uh, merchant here. We want to encrypt this name before we store it in our database. So once again, back in the cryptography functions, we have JWE encode, which I'm using for this example. So let's go ahead. Um, I've already added that function here. Um, so the input, I would just map to the name. The This is the JSON payload. This is what we want to encrypt. Uh, the key will be that uh, secret key one in environment variables that we just created. Um, of course, this stuff is all customizable. I'm just going to leave this just depending on kind of what encryption you want. There's a bunch of different options here. So I'm just going to add, uh, leave that in TTL. I'll leave to zero so it won't expire. Um, audience, we're fine. Uh, so once I have that encrypted input, let's go ahead and I'll just add that variable here, uh, to the name field. So let's go ahead. Let's add a record here and I'll just say, um, hello there as the name. So I'll go ahead and run this and we'll get this record back and you'll see the name will be encrypted. Let's go double check our database. Let's see, we have ID record three there. So let's go into merchant and we'll see ID record three uh, right here. So we have this encryption here. Um, and then step two to that is how do we uh, decrypt this? So let's go back to the API here. Let's go into decrypt. Um, so we'll get the record from our merchant. So let's just say we want to return uh, merchant three right now. Let's just go ahead and see what this looks like. So if we run this, we're still just getting this uh, encrypted value back, right? So what exactly is that? How do we decrypt that? So once again, we can go into cryptography and there is the JWE decode, which I have right here. So let's open this up and then uh, the token that we want to decrypt, it's going to be in this model variable, which is our get record for merchant returned as model. Um, and then dot it is the name field. So I'm just using dot notation uh, to get the value in there I want. Once again, the key is going to be that environment variable secret one. Uh, these would all remain the same in this case. So we're returning that as crypt crypto one. If you go ahead, let's just return that value here. So if we run this, we should see, hello there, decrypted. Um, if we wanted to just return that on this uh, object here, we would just do an update variable, update crypto one as model.name and just return model. So there you go.